Look, I get it. I haven't uploaded in a very long time. So hear me out on this one. I couldn't upload to be um, having constant packet loss for the past like, two weeks and a half. And that really did motivate me so I couldn't even make my own videos. But now that's fixed, we can like jump straight into this. So guys, Nazo here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to, on how to stop making videos on YouTube. Let us begin. Design. The basics are simple on this excellent yet difficult platform. Make sure <clears throat> number one, make sure your videos have some type of edit. A few cuts here or there to some parts or full blown movie type editing that is wide enough to freaking um, become its own movie. But at least let your videos have some flair so your audience won't get bored and just click off. If you guys are broke, I recommend finding a video on how to get a certain editing software you want for free. Or use Filmora, the thing that I'm using right now, instead of um, Sony Vegas, and some other great and free editing software. The three main topics on YouTube is right now, but, and, but there are so many, 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 many many topics on this freaking platform but the main ones that sit through time the most is gaming channels and commentary channels also list channels but who cares about them i won't go into detail but game channels of course about gaming and playing them and making let's plays on them commentary or gaming but you just talk over the gameplay about some unrelated topic like I'm doing right now and last one just be yourself that's it that's that's all I will don't be your favorite youtuber just be yourself all right so you won't get repetitive or annoying and you can just will be entertained. Now that's our way. Let's talk about the setup for your videos. Now that the basics are done and over with, we can talk about what set you really, really need to use. We're not going to talk about the software you need to use to like the next video. But if you're watching this with rolling PC and you just want software and just watch Larry's 4D video, I have that link in the description and below. If you have a phone, just use Kind Master and some recording software you know, for your games and microphone. And just hope for the best that these people will um, accept console use your, use the PC or your phone anyway when your video anyway the minimum requirements of a PC that can be good for editing and gaming and possibly streaming is six cores 12 threads a midway GPU like say a uh, GTX 1650 or 1660 um and for the ADM is um RX 580 8 gigabytes of RAM or more but the recommended is like 16 and a uh, hard drive or SSD mostly on SSD for fast loading times and that's it if you don't have those loose once again just, just jump into Libby's video and you talk about it's, it's gonna tell you the software 
why this shit is, is wicked me, you may ask. It's powerful enough to like stream, record, and do gaming. Also, it's really powerful enough to do um, some good editing. And, and so basically, it's a free one PC. Next up we're going to talk about is the equipment. Equipment is outside your PC, like things that are connected to your PC. And it's very important because if you don't have them, then what are you doing? Step 1, have a mouse keyboard. It can be anything from like eSport type level of, of mouse and keyboard or it can be basic as office stuff. But I really recommend gaming because you're going to need to use that if you're trying to do gaming. It's, it's one of the that's going to help you perform better. Second, have a decent sounding microphone. Now, if you don't have it, don't worry. Once you get to the software video, uh, we're going to talk about how to make your mic sound a little bit better. But, but Till, till then, just get a decent sounding microphone or something that that just sound like mine when I don't um, change it. Third, you need a monitor. Uh, I recommend like 75 hertz or more, cause and 1080p monitor so that you have good quality and and you can like you know become a competitive gamer if you ever want to. Alright, that is it for the setup and basics. It's you all good to go for right now. But you can always upgrade your PC and your setup up and change your boundaries a little. But till then, you're not ready. So I see you guys in the next video. Peace.